Hello, everybody. My name is Kevin Ramos, New York Jets fan since 1982. And being a Jets fan of 40 years, it's like uh, it's like being in a marriage. Just when you're ready to serve up those divorce papers, guess what? She figures out a way to turn things around. And uh, right now, uh, the Jets might have a great opportunity at turning it around. Uh, a few days ago, after the loss of the Jacksonville Jaguars, I came out here and I said they were done for the season. An embarrassing display by Zach Wilson, an embarrassing 19-3 loss to put us at 7-8, and eight, and I thought basically out of the playoff picture. Well, what do you know what uh, a difference a few days makes, and uh, basically Christmas has arrived a little bit for the New York Jets uh, this past weekend. Uh, the Patriots lost to Cincinnati, which is what the Jets needed to stay mathematically alive. And then yesterday, the Green Bay Packers went into Miami and uh, beat the Miami Dolphins 26-20. to uh, Tua uh, Tagovailoa, their quarterback, it looked like he smacked his head uh, on a play in the second uh, quarter. And uh, honestly, he didn't play the same since, and he threw three picks in the fourth quarter and uh, you know, kind of melted down a little bit. And uh, allegedly, he's now in uh, concussion protocol. So that might have a big-time effect on the Miami Dolphins this week, who will be playing the New England Patriots. But I'll get to that in a second. Uh, the best news of the day, Mike White, the White Knight himself, number five, has been cleared uh, from his rib injury. And he will play this weekend at Seattle, a game that we must win over a Seattle team that's kind of reeling and trying to get themselves into the playoffs in the NFC. Also, Zach Wilson will be inactive. He will not suit up. I don't think he should even bother to make the trip to Seattle, honestly. I think his career in New York is over, even though his career in the NFL I don't think necessarily is over. But his time in New York is. Um, the pressure is all on the offensive line. you got to keep Mike White upright by any means necessary. If that means you got to run the ball 50 times, you, gotta, you guys got to get physical out there, and they need to do their job. They, they're the ones that got Mike White almost killed in Buffalo. This cannot happen. If my White gets hurt again in Kingo, you got Joe Flacco, who's like 90 years old. No, no. He, he, the offensive line has got to do its job. You win games in the trenches. This offensive line with, with uh, Lake, and Tom, Lake and Tomlinson and, and Nate Herbig and fans, I mean, they have got to step it up. Uh in order for the Jets to win. The defense, C.J. Mosley, stop doing stupid things like Miles Sergeant Major, the late Sergeant Major Stokes used to say in the Army. Don't do dumb things. C.J. Mosley, stop doing dumb things because you've cost the Jets two freaking games already, okay? So start with you. And the rest of the defense needs to tackle. They need to play dif discipline. Stop giving up big plays, okay? This is, this is your money moment for – for Carl Lawson and Sheldon Rankins and, and John Franklin Myers and Quincy Williams. Th this is their money. This is y'all's money moment uh, this weekend. Uh, as far as the Dolphins and Patriots, um, it's no secret the team that I hate the most is the Miami Dolphins, and that goes back to 1982 and the Mud Bowl. <sighs> I can't believe I'm about to say this. I really, it really doesn't matter. It helps, you know, with the Patriots Dolphins game, who wins? Either way, it helps the Jets. But it will be more beneficial if the Miami Dolphins were to beat the Patriots this week. I can't believe I said that. I would rather have the Dolphins win. But I said it. Uh, the Dolphins are going to play, uh, obviously, the Patriots this week, then they play us next week. Uh, the Patriots need to lose one of their last two games, either this time around against the Dolphins or next week against Buffalo. Uh, you got Kansas City playing Denver. Kansas City should win that. Uh, hopefully, uh, Cincinnati can beat Buffalo. That way, Buffalo will have some motivation to stay in the AFC uh, number one seed picture against uh, Kansas City since they've got a head-to-head -head win against the Chiefs. If Cincinnati can beat Buffalo, you know Buffalo probably won't rest their starters against the Patriots. And there'll be more incentive for, uh, obviously, Buffalo to win, not rest their starters, and maybe beat the Patriots in case the Patriots beat the Dolphins. Uh, with the news about uh, Tua Tagovailoa, he may not play this week uh, 
or the next week. So we'll see. We'll see what happens right now. The Dolphins and the Jets, that both teams are reeling, uh, coming off of four straight losses. So something's got to give. And as far as the Jets go, it has to give in Seattle. You got to get that W. Otherwise, nothing else matters. So uh, we'll see what happens this coming Sunday. See you then.